All right, Mary Jo, I have a company. I've got a couple of employees, and I want to make sure that they stick around for a while. What can I do to make sure that they stay around? My guess is you're going to say something along the lines of catered lunches, taking them to the amusement park, but your face is starting to tell me that I'm going down the wrong path. Sure. What, what do you think? Well, I think um, that's the typical thing that people expect, that, that in order to keep somebody, they need to have a huge benefit package or um, high pay or you know those sort of things. But really, um, statistically, one of the biggest things that keeps somebody in a place is that they get to bring their whole selves into that workplace. Um, people need to be seen as who they are. They're not just a job description with legs. Um, otherwise, we'd have robots that would. So not a number on the wall. Right. Basically, it's uh, this is my personality. You, you're getting every piece to it. That's why you're um, bringing me on. Yeah, yeah, and you know we're we're body, soul, spirit, emotions, all of that stuff. And a lot of times, people have the old school way of thinking was leave your personal life at home, and business is business. And the problem with that is when we disintegrate who we are, we also leave our passion mm. at the door. If if I am the boss and I have four employees, um, a lot of people would say that the whole self is the distraction. So how do I allow and bring that in to actually be a positive instead of a negative? That's a really great question. I think one of the things that people can do from the beginning is take time. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time, but take time at the beginning when you first are getting to know um, your, your people. Find out their story, find out their narrative, find out what uh, it, they're passionate about, um, and make sure that you understand what motivates them. Uh, statistically, the big three, according to Dan Pink, the big three motivators for people are um, autonomy, mastery, and purpose. So you need to find out where they, where they want to have that autonomy, what they want to master, what they feel like they are good at, and what you can help them to grow in. Um, but the, the, big, the big part that is often missing is that purpose part. What is significant to them? If you can't give them um, more money, if you can't give them a huge benefit package, but you can, for example, some, some organizations say, if you get all of your work done, then you can set aside X amount of time to be creative in your field. Find a problem and try to solve it. Right. You know, I'll give you resources. Or that sort of say thing. the Google 20% rule, where you, you get a day a week to try something out. And, and a lot of companies, that kind of side feature has become one of their biggest business models. Um, so, how does a, a company um, figure out what the purpose is for that person? They just ask them, or, or how do you I kind think, of see the purpose? I think about? that's a good question too. I think it's people make it so much harder than it needs to be. Don't give them a survey. Don't. Uh, make them fill out a bunch of paperwork to try and figure out what their purpose is. Just listen to them. Autonomy, mastery, and purpose. Mm -hmm. Awesome three. Thank you yeah. so much. You're welcome.